For this example, we are going to illustrate how to repair an entire assembly using the full repair feature. In previous versions of Transmagic, there was actually an assembly repair function uh, that uh, has been uh, decremented because the full repair function now behaves in much the same way. It's just a matter of selecting all of the parts. Let's get started by opening a part. Let's go to File Open or Control O or the Open icon. Transmagic ships with a number of sample parts in the install directory and let's go to in this case the SolidWorks directory and let's open assembly number four which is drill fixture uh, SLD ASM. This example also presumes that you've uh, witnessed the repair single part example uh, that uh, explains exactly what's happening in full repair. Let's orient our part around. Notice here that we have orbit, zoom, pan for orienting your part properly and all of these are also accessible via the right click menu. So let's just zoom around here and all of these parts in this particular example are fairly high quality. There is one part that does have errors which is why we chose the example. In general though native SolidWorks uh, parts themselves being based on the SolidWorks kernel uh, are very high quality and probably will typically never require repair. Nonetheless, how you check for the geometric health of a part is let's click again the single select icon, also accessible via the right click menu. Click on a part and then click the check part icon. These uh, p-curve location errors, this is a uh, report uh, output that does actually have some errors. These are actually very minor errors and it appears because the output window here is very verbose uh, that uh, that this could be a significant you know check failure. It in fact really isn't. Uh, it's probably just a couple surfaces that need to be shifted a little bit uh, uh, in their uh, p-curves. How we accomplish this task is you can simply select the entire assembly with a window select that is up here, drag a window, let's deselect though and instead use control A, typical Windows convention for selecting everything. And it's very simple to apply full repair to a full assembly. All you simply do is click the full repair icon or again that is accessible under the right click menu. Transmagic will process each part individually uh, and this will be reflected in our full repair results window here. Uh, here we see we have 10 input geometries and then we go and list the geometric health uh, for every uh, body. Here we have 1 of 10, go down and see our output results, percentage of good geometry 100%, uh, go to the number second or number 2 and 100%, so on down the list. This part uh, or this assembly rather in particular uh, is very high quality and again those uh, errors that we saw were actually fairly minor. Uh, but let's check it again just to see what full repair did. Again, you single select, click on the part, and click the check part icon. And here what we have, uh, what we uh, hope to, to see, is a clean bill of health. And again, if errors aren't listed, we did not detect any errors. So finally, let's save this out. Let's name this AR for assembly repair. And for the output type, let's select the Transmagic file format. Uh, that is the TMR file. Transmagic TMR file is good for the life of a project because it's a uh, nice, uh, secure, stable uh, storage mechanism and it's also a nice way to uh, save your progress. When you're looking at a part in Transmagic you are actually looking at a TMR file. And finally to bring in that TMR file and round trip the example here. Let's orient it and then check the part just to make sure our results are consistent. Single select, click on the part and check. And again clean bill of health that was the one part in the assembly with errors.